videos and photos on phones and computers can be deleted, but the hard drive of heaven, my friends, it cannot be erased. God will judge you. God will avenge the death of these innocent children. No. Our protesters are fairly, fairly steady here. So it's the same couple of churches that come out and target the choices. They like to preach to us and tell us that we're baby killers, um, even though we're opening doors and smiling at patients. A volunteer health center escort is here to help patients in the door in the calmest and most supportive way possible. So when people are walking up, a lot of times they don't expect a protester presence and it can really take them off guard. So our job is to be here to be a welcoming face to say like, hi, welcome to Choices, can I walk with you? We try to be the anti-protesters. <laughs> they tend to say that anyone patronizing the clinic is killing babies, whether or not you're here for abortion care, um, you know, your money getting a well woman visit is supporting it, so they're against you. Abortion is definitely the worst thing they could do. It's a legal option, but in our view, it, it's devastating. Of course, it kills the baby and it forever changes the mother. So she suffers in every way after. We just give out material that uh, present uh, the truth <laughs> about the baby and about her. I come because I know that this is not right. It wasn't right back in the 40s and 50s. I don't think it's right. I used to. The fact that I killed my own kid and the fact that it has a devastating effect on you, you know, it's, it's not good to kill in any shape, form, no matter. So in New York City, there's a law called the FACE law that says that you can't follow and harass people entering or exiting a clinic within 15 feet of the door. Last week, we had a group come in from Long Island, even though I explained the law to the gentlemen who were there, and I told them that they could not follow and harass people within 15 feet of the door. He said that he doesn't answer to man's law, that he only answers to God's law. And I told him, well, if he starts, if he keeps violating man's law, then I'm going to call man's police on him. Um, after that point, he did step back and he did give the appropriate amount of space, uh, but they were up in people's faces, they were screaming at people, um, you know, yelling all sorts of horrible things at patients coming in, and also just people walking down the block, people like going to the store. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's unfortunate. These we give to men. If there's a man accompanying someone in, we give this to him, and then we have others for the girls. To the men, we ask them to stand up, be a man, you know, take care of your child. It's the best, you know, their fathers and, and mothers when they get pregnant. You know, when a man impregnates a woman, he's a father. And um, he shouldn't be impregnating her if he's not going to take care of her and the baby. Please, Hi, sister, sorry, repent, save the life of the child that is a gift from God. That child bears the image of God and is made in your likeness. One of our regular escorts, she likes to describe, they're yelling at the door as verbal masturbation. She'll go, it's verbal masturbation. The only one getting joy from it is you.